Chancellor Kurtz, uh, Sebastian, it's a pleasure to uh, welcome you back in Israel. You're a true friend of Israel and the Jewish people. I think you demonstrated that today when you went to the Kotel, to the Western Wall, and I hope that other European leaders will follow your uh, important example. Uh, we deeply appreciate the steps taken by the Austrian government and the Austrian parliament in recent months. Most notably among them, your speech, a wonderful speech, on the 80th anniversary of the Anschluss, you addressed historical responsibility, you clearly opposed anti-Semitism, and you spoke about Jewish life in Austria. You said, and I want to quote this, Austria was not only a victim, but also a perpetrator. These are courageous and bold words, uh, and I think they chart your, the course that you're leading Austria and our relationship, one that I, uh, I support very, very much. Uh, you have backed up your words with actions. You've shown zero tolerance towards uh, anti-Semitism. You established a place of remembrance in Vienna, listing the names of all 60,000 Austrian Jews who perished in the Holocaust. Uh, you're funding youth visits to Matthausen and education and memorial projects. Uh, you, yesterday, you announced in Yad Vashem a, a 4 million euro fund for Heritage Center in Yad Vashem. We are deeply grateful for these and other important steps and for your leadership. You know very well that Israel is the only true democracy in the Middle East. It's the one place in the region that shares and defends the values that Europe holds dear, freedom, pluralism, equality. We welcome uh, the Austrian presidency of the EU beginning on July 1st. Uh, I believe that uh, uh, you said yesterday that Europe should take Israel's security concerns into account. I think this is very important. Sometimes we feel that that is not always the case. You also said that during Austria's presidency, you will raise these concerns as well as anti-Semitism. I must say this is a breath, breath of fresh air, and this is leadership. I've uh, instructed the Director General uh, of the Foreign Ministry, Mr. Yuval Rotem, uh, to intensify the contacts with the Foreign Ministry of Austria so that we may bring these goals that you've outlined into fruition during your presidency. Finally, uh, uh, Sebastian, I want to tell you how moved I was uh, and how uh, many Israelis have been moved by the fact that you have uh, you have actually moved things forward. You've moved our relationship, which uh, between Austria and Israel was always good, but you're taking it to greater heights. I know this is personally important for you, and I want you to know that it's personally important for me. But what we uh, understand, too, is that this intensifies the bond between Israel and Austria, which I think is important for our common future. So thank you once again, and welcome. Welcome, friend. Welcome to Jerusalem. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Prime Minister, dear Bibi, first of all, I would like to thank you for taking time. Thank you for receiving us. Thank you for your really kind words. But I would also like to thank you for the personal relationship we have always had during the last years when I was Foreign Minister of the Republic of Austria. Today, the relations between Austria and Israel are extremely good. The Trade relations are growing and tourism is at an all-time high. But most importantly, I would like to underline what you said. We Austrians know that in light of our own history, we have a special responsibility towards Israel and the Jewish people. I can assure you that Austria will fight all forms of anti-Semitism in Europe with determination, be it the still existing one, or also new imported anti-Semitism. 
We also know that our responsibility does not end at our borders. We want to support the state of Israel and also your security needs. You mentioned that. You live in a dangerous neighborhood and your neighbors are not like ours, Liechtenstein or the Schweiz. <laughs> and so we understand the difference. Shall we switch for and a few weeks? <laughs> not sure about that, not sure about that. But we understand that your situation is a different one and therefore we will try to raise awareness in Europe for the special situation and the special security needs of Israel. Our visit is also the opportunity to foster the relations between our two countries. I'm happy that I'm here together with our Minister for Education and that we are able to enhance our cooperation on education, research and youth exchange. Thank you very much for you're receiving us. Thank you for your hospitality and also for the good relations we have between Israel and Austria. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Of Education, Science and Research of Austria, um, Minister Ophir Kunis and uh, Minister Heinz Fassmann. The MOU encourages scientific cooperation through so Dr. Clement Tochner, President of the Austrian Science Fund. This MOU actually opens the opportunity to uh, start a new science and technology program of joint, uh, fund and joint funding of Israeli-Austrian research projects.